good morning and you can please be seated. Welcome to the 2021 commencement ceremonies for Central Piedmont Community College. If you would, please join me in silencing all your electronic devices and cell phones. And also, let me be the first to say congratulations to the class of 2021 at Central Piedmont Community College. Today, let's pause and have a moment of silence to remember those in the college and our community, our fellow citizens of America and around the world who were lost, those who have suffered loss, and those who were impacted by the coronavirus. Please pause for a moment of silence. Let us pray. Almighty God, the God of our great sunshine and the God of our great rain, we pray for guidance and direction for these new graduates. Help them to have a tender heart to recognize your spirit's leading and to clearly hear when and how you choose to speak to them. We pray for courage and faith to realize the endless possibilities before them and their families. In these unprecedented times, it is easy to fall into feelings of anxiety. However, these graduates are more than conquerors as proven by their accomplishments at Central Piedmont. We pray that you would continue to fill graduates with courage and care and with the full knowledge that you are working behind the scenes in their lives. Thank you for giving us a spirit of boldness, of love, and of a sound mind. Dear God, we pray that they will not lose heart when things look dim, but they will hold firm to faith that your timing is perfect and that you are a detailed planner and that you know the plans that you have for their futures. Thank you for allowing CPC's administration, faculty, and staff to be part of the divine destiny for these graduates. This is our prayer. Amen. On behalf of the Central Piedmont Student Government Association, welcome to the 2021 commencement ceremony. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning. I'm Ed Dalrymple and I am chairman of the board of Central Piedmont. I'd like to welcome all of you here today. I know you wish you had been here yesterday when it was about 50 degrees and uh, some slight rain, but, but never we just had to bring you some sunshine today. So I want to welcome you to this uh, special graduation ceremony. It's so great to be outside today. You and the audience gathered have gathered, and uh, you have you are graduating, you graduates, from the finest community college in the United States. Congratulations. Now let me introduce those seated behind me. Uh, hold your applause until they have all been uh, recognized. Please stand as your name is called. Dr. Candy Dietermeyer, President. Ms. Emma Hoff, Cato Middle College and Associate in Arts graduate and your commencement speaker today. Mr. George Henderson, Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs applied programs. Madison King, Student Government Association Treasurer. Dr. Heather Hill, Vice President, Academic Affairs. Dr. Owen Sikowski, President, College Senate and Instructor Communications. Dr. Tracy Moore, Associate Dean, Education Support. 
Mr. Renov Mehta, Dean, Business, Engineering, and Technology. You all may be seated. Good morning. Well, this is your celebration, so we'll try that again. Good morning, new graduates. There we go. It's okay to celebrate today. And as the, as the chairman said, much better weather this morning than it was yesterday, I promise you. New graduates of Central Piedmont Community College, we are so excited to be here with you today. And so I hope you are as excited as we are. I'm gonna give you the chance this morning to stand up first thing find your family in the audience as you were coming in. I know many of you were trying, but would you turn around and celebrate them as well as the people who've helped you get through today? So let's celebrate our graduates and their families who are with us. So I know it's early. You have to celebrate a little bit better than that as you come across the stage in a few minutes. So get yourselves awake and ready to celebrate your accomplishments. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Central Piedmont, it is really my distinct honor to say we are thrilled for each and every one of you. And like your family and friends, we are so very proud of all that you have accomplished. I thought it would be important today to tell you a little bit about yourselves, not only individually as you come across the stage, um, I want you to take that moment and really celebrate all that you have accomplished. But as a class, there are 2,430 graduates of Central Piedmont Community College this year, and I think that deserves a round of applause. Not only is that a pretty big number um, and pretty significant, I think they're praising you. Whoop, whoop. Not only, does anybody know that blue car? <laughs> Not only are you many in number, you are a very distinguished class with an average GPA of 3.498. That's pretty incredible. So as I told the graduates yesterday, I've already talked to our VP of Academic Affairs, Dr. Hill, who's on stage with me, and I've told her I'm rounding that up to a 3.5. I think she's going to be okay even though she's a mathematician. We're going to round it up. Nearly 850 of you have chosen to walk in one of our five historic outdoor graduation ceremonies. So yes, my friends, you are making history today. The college has never been on the lawn, in front of Overcash, outside, and today under the sun. Yesterday we could say it was historic because of the rain. So even though you've endured much and there's been a lot of history in your path, today again just adds to that historic moment of your journey. I welcome you to this graduation ceremony. I also welcome your, your family and your friends who've joined you today and have been really with you every step of the way on this journey. We all congratulate you and wish you well. You know, there will ever forever be a tie that binds this class. You will always be known as the Central Piedmont class that had to persevere through a worldwide pandemic longer than probably any of us could have imagined. Many of you have ju had just gotten settled into your kind of academic pursuits in that second semester when the world and really all of our lives changed forever. I know many of you never expected or maybe wanted to take an online class and suddenly it was your only option. You hung in there and you stuck with us. And please know we are grateful. It wasn't easy, and it wasn't what you had planned. But look at you now. You have gained strength. You know without a doubt that you are a person of substance that can face adversity and keep moving forward. You have been an inspiration to me, to your faculty, to each other, really to all of us. Please stand again and give yourselves a true, loud round of applause. That is better. I think I finally got you into the celebration. You may be seated. Each of you had to make your own path to be here today, and each of you have overcome obstacles, perhaps some I will never know, and perhaps a setback or two. But you persisted, and you kept the faith. The degree, diploma, or certificate that you have earned 
signifies you have more than knowledge. You have skills. You have real skills. You have the ability and the willingness to work hard and achieve a goal. You can make things happen. You can conquer possibility. You are the future of this great community. Among you are 309 new healthcare graduates serving as we have found this year a true and great need. Among you, 201 business students who will strengthen our local economy. 70 construction technology graduates who will play an important role as we continue to build the great future of our region. 80 information technology graduates who achieved themselves a collective of a GPA average of 3.41 and they will go out and make all of our industry stronger. Almost 1,400 of you will be transferring to a four-year college or university to continue your studies. We wish you well as you pursue your bachelor's degree and beyond. Carry Central Piedmont in your heart wherever you go. And my challenge to all of you is to be reminded that you, brand, you wear the brand of Central Piedmont. And we entrust that to you and we are proud of you. All combined, this class of 2020 represents a wonderful, determined, and skilled talent pipeline ready to make this community an even better place to live and to work. Each of you has a story to tell, and I encourage you to share it. Tell others of your experience at Central Piedmont. Tell them hard work and determination with the love of family and friends and the support of an amazing, tremendous faculty and advisors will lead to your success. The journey wasn't easy, but I hope you would agree it has definitely been worth the effort. Speaking of stories, we had a tremendous speaker yesterday, and today you will hear from another. Today you will hear from, as we have done the last few years, um, one of your student classmates as your, as your student and congratulatory message. This year we are proud to welcome a graduate of our Cato Middle College High School who will also be receiving her Associate in Arts, Emma Hoff. Emma came to Central Piedmont to get both her high school and full college experience. She says that attending Central Piedmont gave her the flexibility she wanted to take rigorous classes, participate in clubs and student events, and just enjoy being a college student. While at Central Piedmont, Emma was a member of Model United Nations, the Rotaract Service Club, student researchers in science, and a fellow with the Charlotte Racial Justice Consortium. I'm not sure how Emma had a chance to actually do all her academic pursuits with all of that, but she did, and she will be graduating with you today. After graduation, Emma will enroll in the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill to pursue, a study, to pursue studies in public health. It is my pleasure, and I hope you will give a warm welcome to your graduation speaker for the class of 2021 Emma Hoff. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the graduates, I want to extend our thanks to Dr. Dina Meyer, the Board of Trustees, the College Admin, and all faculty and staff. I'd also like to thank everyone who came out to support us graduates today. My name is Emma, and it's a privilege to be before you today. I'm honored to graduate with you as both a Cato Middle College student and an and a associate's student with my, and a transfer student with my associates in arts. Today with you, I believe I'm right where I'm supposed to be. My mom came to the US from across an ocean from Ghana and when she arrived here, she was all alone. I imagine it was difficult, but because of all she endured, I'm here speaking to you today. During our lifetimes, particularly during this past year, we've gone through a lot, yet we're here on the lawn of our schools getting our degrees. That right there deserves a roar of applause. I'm not going to lie, it's been hard and difficult, but obstacles aren't without purpose. The curious nature about a thing called challenge is it does something to us. 
it gets up inside of us and does some sort of magic. The curious nature about a thing called challenge is while there's no cure for it, there's something helpful about it, unlike COVID. We've spent over a year now being faced with our own humanities and the shortness of life. We've all dealt with uncertainty and adapted. We're social creatures and we didn't get to embrace our loved ones. We couldn't celebrate birthdays, weddings, or baby showers like usual. We couldn't mourn with our loved ones about those things that challenge us or share grief and loss over all the awful things that took place and are still taking place. We had digital fatigue and encountered annoying mic buttons that would be on when you least expected it. We learned about much more than we thought we'd ever need to. I honestly didn't know what Zoom or WebEx was before March of last year. But the curious nature about a thing called challenge is it does something to us. It's while we're in this thing called challenge that we come face to face with this beautiful South African word in the, in the Zulu language. Ubuntu. Say it with me, Ubuntu. Turn to your neighbor, say Ubuntu. Ubuntu means I am because we are. There is something deep down that we all share, something that is common among all of us that makes us human. What would you call it? Maybe it's hard to put your finger on or describe in words. Maybe it's hard to see sometimes, but I know challenge and you know challenge, there's no doubt about it. Hopefully, if we're the kind of people we wish to be in challenge, we'll learn that we aren't single stars. Instead, we are a collection, billions of us, being pressed on all sides by this thing called gravity. As a collection, to the difficult moments of our shared, recent shared past, many of us are learning to find joy in a slower, quieter way. Many of us are becoming more aware of the struggle of our brother, sister, and sibling, and how their struggles aren't so different from our own. Many of us are angered that humanity has been blatantly overlooked. Many of us are learning to hold a more expansive compassion and act on it. Many of us feel alone and scared and are learning to find light in the little things. I know it's been difficult, but let us remember the concept of Ubuntu and our vast interconnectedness. Though we are each individual stars, there's so much going on within and around us that we share. The pandemic has made this evident and by God, we are all here today, having gained something so special beyond just our education. So let us give thanks for this moment and all we have gained in these unprecedented times. Let us thank those who supported us, our teachers and our families and all who helped get us through. I'd like to take a moment of personal privilege to appreciate my family, my loved ones and all those who helped get me through. I appreciate you. A lot has happened this past year and when I think about my own experience, I'm looking at you and thinking of your own unique experience. Take a moment and look around you at all this light. This light is the byproduct of a reaction taking place millions of miles away. And this reaction can only occur because our sun is being pressed on all sides by this thing called gravity. Now look up. Beyond the blue sky exists millions, no billions of burning stars. Now look around at your fellow graduates. Understand that we share something. Call it gravity, call it the reaction taking place at our cores. And we've all been through a lot. But from challenges, we've gained a unique, quiet strength. And like the mute button in our virtual calls, it will be on when we least expect it. The curious nature about a thing called challenge is it reminds us that although we're different, we're human. We go through challenges and we're all being pressed by gravity, but we aren't single stars. This challenge colors our common humanity. This is what we share and this is what makes us strong. So graduates, 
Do not go gentle into that good night. Audience, I now present to you the class of 2021. Thank you, Emma, for your inspiring remarks. Many of our graduates have overcome challenges to be here today. They have balanced job duties and family obligations along with their schoolwork. They have persisted and even excelled in their studies. Students wearing gold sashes are members of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. This society is the overarching honor society for all others here at the college. Will those students wearing gold sashes please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Your program includes a list of honor societies available to students in particular academic programs and disciplines. If you are a member of any honor club or organization, will you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. There are four middle colleges located on Central Piedmont campuses and 140 students have completed your studies here this year. If you are a middle college student graduating today with your high school diploma and an associate's degree, will you please stand and be recognized? And, and by the way, these graduates have an average GPA of 3.44 in their degree programs. That's quite impressive. Thank you. Students who have maintained a 3.5 to 3.69 grade point average out of a possible 4.0 on their academic record are wearing white honor cords. Please stand as a group and be recognized. Thank you. Students with a grade point average between 3.7 and 3.99 are wearing purple cords. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Students who have maintained a 4.0 grade point average, that's straight A's in all of their classes, are wearing gold cords. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Students who are actively serving or are veterans of the United States Armed Forces are wearing red, white, and blue braided cords. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Graduates, as I mentioned earlier, you have not reached this important milestone alone. You have important people in your lives who have helped you along this journey. And again, I would just offer you the opportunity to give your family and your friends and everyone in your life um, a round of applause as we get ready to celebrate you. We know that many of you have worked one or more jobs while going to school. Many of you have continued to care for children and other family members. And many of you have made community service a part of your college experience. And many of you have come to the college after serving in our country's armed forces. On behalf of the college, we congratulate you. We respect the journey that you have traveled to place, your, to place you among this distinguished group of graduates. And I would ask you at this time, and it gives me great honor to ask the graduates to please rise. To graduates, by the authority vested in me by the governing board of Central Piedmont Community College 
it is my pleasure to confer with all the honors and privileges appertaining thereto the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate upon you as a graduate. As custom dictates, at this time, you may move your tassel to the left side. And would the audience please join me in congratulating the graduates. <laughs> graduates, you may be seated. We're getting to that time that you've been waiting for at this time. I would like to ask Dr. Heather Hill who will come back and join me as we present the graduates, and I'll be joined as well by Ed Dalrymple, the chairman of the board. Dr. Dietemeyer, as chief academic officer of Central Piedmont Community College, I present these graduates to you on recommendation of the faculty for conferral of degrees and diplomas. Graduates, please remain seated until your row is called to rise and come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our desire that we recognize each graduate by name. Please make your applause brief so that we can hear each name as it is called. Graduates, once you have made your way across stage, you may exit to Elizabeth Avenue. Your guests are welcome to meet you there. This will help us exit in a safe and socially distanced manner. Michael, we met broadcasting and production technology. Thank you so much. Keenan Ingram, broadcasting and production technology. Yvonne Mobley, business administration. Cameron Colson. Business Administration, Human Resources Management. Cynthia Prado Gillian, Medical Office Administration. Matthew Etheridge, Information Technology, Networking Technologies. Andrew Sazazar, Simulation and Game Design and Development. Tamara Williams, Medical Office Administration. Kiza Gomez, Information Technology, Database Development, Business Intel. Colby McClinton, Business Administration, Human Resources Management. Bunar, Associate Degree Nursing. Luis Lohr, Broadcasting and Production Technology. Jody Ramirez, Accounting and Finance, Accounting Track. Taya Homan, Office Administration. William Stewart, Simulation and Game Development. 
Ayana Mungo, Business Administration, Human Resources Management. Evelyn Gomez, Business Administration, Human Resources Management. C.J. Vasquez, Associate Degree Nursing. Alexandria Bohini, Medical Office Administration, Medical Billing and Coding. Reginald Lucky, Business Administration. Valerie Hernandez, Paralegal Technology. Cynthia Stevenson, Accounting. Brian Dazu, Broadcasting and Production Technology. Luisa Lopez, Accounting and Finance, Accounting Track. Perry Bynum, Accounting. Michael O'Neill, Broadcasting and Production Technology. Angela Hart, Office Administration. Angela Hurt. Sarah Pridgen, Business Administration, Human Resources Management. Christopher Lanza, Electronics Engineering Technology. Pedro Flores, Electronics Engineering Technology. Leticia Owens, Accounting and Finance, Accounting Track. Dolores Gray, Business Administration, Human Resources Management. Tasha Moore, Office Administration. Estelle Adu, Medical Office Administration. Laura Anderson, Medical Office Administration, Medical Billing and Coding. Christina Eccles, Medical Office Administration, Medical Billing and Coding. Mitchell Rome, Business Administration. Ramsha Sangi, Information Technology, Cloud and Virtualization, virtualization Technology. Cheryl Francis, Medical Office Administration and Medical Office Administration, Medical Billing and Coding. Kendall Cheek, Information Technology, Web Technologies. Joseph Stevens, Civil Engineering Technology and Geomatics Technology. Jocelyn Calaro Delgado, Business Administration, Human Resource Management. Crystal Outlaw, Medical Office Administration, Medical Billing and Coding. Ishmael Silasu, Information Technology, Information Assurance, and Digital Forensics. Katherine Powell, Medical Office Administration. Zafron Hale, Information Technology, Software Development. Sandra Worthy, Business Administration, Human Resources Management. Christian O'Keefe, Associate in Engineering. Naisha Haight, Medical Office Administration. Giovanna Howray-Gee, Paralegal Technology Diploma. Ushit Patel, Information Technology, Information Assurance, and Digital Forensics. Vanessa Morrison, Accounting.
Ponlisha McGee, Office Administration. Caroline Priest, Sustainability Technologies. Dahlia Cruz, Business Administration. Cedric Wisha, Information Technology, Information Assurance, and Digital Forensics. Michael Lair, Simulation and Game Development. Jesse Smith, Simulation and Game Development. Corey Summers, Computer Integrated Machining. Jenny Dam, Medical uh, Mechanical Engineering and Technology and Mechatronics Engineering Technology. Lucky Tran, Broadcasting and Production Technology. Zachariah Tuta, Information Technology, Networking Technologies. Shantae Walter, Office Administration. Julie Beaumont, Paralegal Technology Diploma. Maria Ribeiro, Accounting. Love Panza, Information Technology, Networking Technologies. Brian Allen, Electrical Systems Technology, Manufacturing Maintenance Technology. James Hoyle, Sustainability Technologies. Caitlin Green, Computer Integrated Machining. Jonathan Krudzik, Computer Integrated Machining. Judith Sorto, Accounting and Finance. Damien Fairs, Information Technology, IT Business Analyst. Rachel Smith, Paralegal Technology Diploma. Danielle Roman, Paralegal Technology. Tanisha Pickering, Paralegal Technology. Trina Ardry, Information Technology Database Development Business Intelligence. Fernanda Scheid, Paralegal Diploma. Gaoshua Vu, Business Administration, Human Resources Management. Carlos Laveras, Mechatronics Engineering Technology. Jessica Ducher, Associate in Arts and Business Administration, Human Resource Management. Shalita Hall, Medical Office Administration. Ginger Cosner, Paralegal Technology. Donna Barrett, Medical Office Administration, Medical Billing and Coding. Savannah Webb, Paralegal Technology. DAT 2, Accounting and Finance, Accounting Track. Katashala Mwa, Medical Office Administration and Medical Office Administration, Medical Billing and Coding. Logan Horton, 
computer integrated machining. Adil Robani, Computer Engineering Technology. Chris Daka, Business Administration. Ashley Pullis, Business Administration. Nandi Cheatham, Accounting and Finance Accounting Track. Michael Woods, Business Administration. Vashaka Balian, Information Technology Software Development. Alex Say, Carlson, Computer Integrated Machining. Talan Sima, Information Technology, Web Technologies. Johnny Curry, Supply Chain Management. Teshal Rososo, Information Technology, Database Development, Business Intel. Chuku Aka, Information Technology, Networking Technologies. Gopal Demal, Business Administration. Sandra Gunter, Accounting and Finance, Accounting Track. Damini Patel, Information Technology, Software Development. Rochelle Insamansa, Information Technology, Information Assurance and Digital Forensics. Dylas Lewis, Broadcasting and Production Technology. Lakita Haley, Business Administration. Jovial Insangi, Business Administration. Elijah Van Cleef, Information Technology, Networking Technologies. Princess Black, Business Administration, Human Resources Management. Khalil Hinton, Broadcasting and Production Technology. Mario Alugu Aguilar, Business Administration and Business Administration, Human Resources Management. Jose Cruz, Simulation and Game Development and Game Development Diploma. Apita Deb, Information Technology, IT Business Analyst. Ola Atika, Biomedical Equipment Technology. A Stephanie Vega, Accounting. Delight Abriha, Information Technology, Information Assurance, and Digital Forensic. Aaron Barrett, Office yeah. Administration. Isaac Irwana, Information Technology. Timothy Sala, Computer Engineering Technology.
Solomon Keffany, Information Technology Database Development. Destiny Martinez, Business Administration. Madison King, Associate in Arts. Emma Hoff, Associate in Arts. I would like to extend my gratitude and appreciation to everyone and our platform guests for being here today. We are celebrating our 2021 graduates and thank the family and friends for joining us.